singing Jesus, our perfect example. He often held communion with heaven in song. The men of Nazareth often heard his voice raised in prayer and thanksgiving to God, and those who associated with him, who often complained of their weariness, were cheered by the sweet melody that fell from his lips. Christ was often heard singing hymns of praise, and yet I have heard persons say, Christ never smiled. How mistaken their ideas in regard to the Savior. There was joy in his heart. We learn from the word that there is joy among the heavenly angels over one repentant sinner, and that the Lord himself rejoices over his church with singing. When Christ was a child like these children here, he was tempted to sin, but he did not yield to temptation. As he grew older he was tempted, but the songs his mother had taught him to sing came into his mind, and he would lift his voice in praise. And before his companions were aware of it, they would be singing with him. God wants us to use every facility which heaven has provided for resisting the enemy. With a song, Jesus in his earthly life met temptation. Often when sharp, stinging words were spoken, often when the atmosphere about him was heavy with gloom, with dissatisfaction, distrust, or oppressive fear, was heard his song of faith and holy cheer the early morning often found him in some secluded place, meditating, searching the scriptures, or in prayer. With the voice of singing he welcomed the morning light. With songs of thanksgiving he cheered his hours of labor and brought heaven's gladness to the toil-worn and disheartened. Often he expressed the gladness of his heart by singing psalms and heavenly songs. His praise seemed to banish the evil angels, and, like incense, fill the place with fragrance. The minds of his hearers were carried away from their earthly exile, to the heavenly home. When others are impatient, fretful, and complaining because self is not subdued, begin to sing some of the songs of Zion. While Christ was working at the carpenter's bench, others would sometimes surround him, trying to cause him to be impatient, but he would begin singing some of the beautiful psalms and before they realized what they were doing, they had joined with him in singing, influenced, as it were, by the power of the Holy Spirit which was there. 